Hello, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now, um, following on in our Valentine series, I'm going to use this that I bought from Poundland. And now I know it's a Christmas um, themed item um, and it wasn't reduced, it was still a pound, but um, I'm going to show you how to make something really for your um, young ones and um, it can be used alongside decoupage papers. Okay, so what I'm going to do to start with is cover this in some white paint because we want to get rid of the colors that we've got here. Um, I'll just take the tag off there. Now you can adapt this for whoever you want to by just using different deco papers, okay? So the only thing that limits you is your imagination really, okay? So I'm just going to give this a little paint over. Now this paint is the new stuff and it, it did actually come quite lumpy so we've kind of managed to shake it out a little bit so it should be all right. So I'm just going to paint over all of the hearts in this white chalk paint. Right, so now they are completely dry, we're going to decorate the top. Now, you can change and chop and change this to anything you want. You can use any kind of paper to give it any look that you want. But I'm going to use these three papers. Um, and what I'm going to do um, to start with, um, I'll just open this one. Depending who you're giving it to, will obviously depend on the type of paper that you use. Um, but I'm just going to roughly measure that out. Now I'm not going to um, rip it and pull it apart as um, we normally do with papers, but I am going to cut a square, she says, out of the deco paper. Now the reason we painted underneath white is because this will become a little bit transparent, okay? So um, there's not going to be many layers going on this. So at the moment I'm just going to start with the top one and put on a layer of the Mod Podge. Okay, so go all the way around. And then get your sheet of paper and place it on the top like that All right kind of run it around with your fingers then get your brush and go over the top just sort of go around so you get the edges as well okay so we're going to leave these outer edges to start with and then we're going to do exactly the same thing with um, the other papers um, so I'll just do that now Okay, so um, they are completely done for this stage and what we want to do is just to let them dry completely. Do not worry about the edges, about cutting anything off, just leave them. Okay, so if you've, once you've painted an extra layer of Mod Podge over the top, just leave them to dry. Now these hearts are completely dry, um, so what I'm going to do is to just work around the edge and um, just to neaten the paper off. And we just do that by doing sort of light strokes down with the nail file, pulling away and then 
that makes it easy just to get off um, the, the paper. Okay, then you've got some nice clean edges, so as you can see like that. So I'm just going to go all the way around um, all of the hearts and take all the paper off now. Okay, so I've gone around all of those and um, I quite like the look of these two because obviously they've got the unicorns on. Um, this one looks a bit plain, so what I'm going to do is to stick one of these hearts on. These came in a string um, of hearts all connected together and all you do is just um, snip them off there. They do cut and stay where they're supposed to stay. Um, I bought those from eBay. I've used them quite a few times before. So you just cut this little extra bit off that joins them all together and then I'm just going to pop a bit of glue on it and stick it in oops sorry stick it in the middle of um, this one here that hasn't got any unicorns on just to give that one a little bit of something else I burnt myself on some soup the other day I made some um, leek and potato soup, homemade leek and potato soup. And I just warmed some up and I spilt it on my hand. So that's my second burn. Let's hope things don't come in threes, eh? Okay, there we go. And that, folks, I think I'm going to leave it at that. You can do loads of things. You know, you can, you can decorate it up in however you want. You can put as much or as little on as you want. And you can actually put sort of names on or anything like that. I'm just going to put it on a piece of white card so you can see it a bit better. There we go. So um, that's it all completely finished. And remember that was that started life as a Poundland um, heart, Christmas heart um, decoration. So it will hang. That's what this thing is at the top. And it will dangle down. I think um, any little girl would love that in her bedroom. You can change it for a boy or an older person just depending on what paper that you use. Okay, so thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Thank you.